here at the Bell Helicopters stand at CES and they've produced the Nexus. You can see it behind me, it's got six props, looks really space age and should be in commission uh, starting from the mid 2020s. It's a, it's a hybrid vehicle, it can take four passengers uh, with a pilot up front, but the vision is for this to be an automated vehicle. It has vertical takeoff and landing, so really easy to get in and out of places, but the long-term vision is that this is gonna be the people mover of the future. Well, here we are, we're sitting inside the Bell Nexus. This is pretty futuristic looking craft. We're, there's seats for four people, so uh, two, two up here, one next to me up here, there's a seat for the pilot. Uh, and this is the transportation of the future. We're going to be seeing these in the mid 2020s. Uh, they're designed to, uh, obviously, the pilot at, at, the, at first uh, for when they first get under operation. But this is a, a hybrid electric vehicle that's eventually going to be automated. So you can just imagine uh, people catching these as, as they would a bus or a taxi in the future and zipping around the skies. But it. it uh, a little bit spacious, and not, not, not a lot of room, it's, it's definitely an economy class seat here, it's not too big, but at least you've got some cup holders and even some USB chargers as well, but uh, you're going to certainly get to your destination very quickly, no matter what. At first glance, a lot of people may think that the Bell Nexus is a drone, it certainly looks that way, it's got six props, but Bell insists it's a helicopter after all, that's their bread and butter, they've been making helicopters for decades, so don't be calling this a drone, it is a helicopter. The Bell Nexus can reach speeds of up to 280 kilometres an hour and has a range of about 300 kilometres. So expect to see these whizzing about the skies in the next decade. Ooh. <laughs> Hit my head first. Watch my head.